Hi everyone. Today you're going to be looking at how to use Google Drawings and to create an artist statement or any kind of art that we need to be doing in Google Draw. So on your Chromebook you're going to need to find the Google Draw app. It's a little in red. I'm going to find it here in my Google Drive by clicking New and coming over here, Google Drawings. When you first open it, it's going to be a blank canvas like this and you need to add the things that you need to have for the assignment. So for an artist statement, you need to add a picture of your artwork. To add a picture, you come here where it says image, click that. Your pictures are going to be in your Google Drive and find a picture. I'm just going to choose this one, select, and here it is. I'm going to change the size by going to the corner and moving it. I can rotate it by coming right here to this little handle and rotate. If you're doing an artist statement, you're going to need to add words. So come over here to add text box. It's important to put your name on whatever you're at, whatever you're making. This is Schwab. You can change the font the color and the size. So here's the color box. You can make it bold, underline. I can change the font and I can change the size. To add another text box for whatever question you're answering or whatever detail you're adding, I just went back and clicked it and I can add another one. This is my favorite part. So if one of your questions is, what is your favorite part? This is my favorite part because I like circles. Exclamation mark. I can use this and then I could even add an arrow. Either right here in the lines, I could add a line arrow or right here in shapes you can add a shape arrow I like this one and I can move my text to match and that is how you do it to add shapes you come over here you can click on a shape you want to add and draw it Change the color. You can change the color right here. I could add another shape. I could add a line. So maybe I want to do this kind of line. And it kind of comes together to make a shape. Um, I can click here and click my shape. I can copy it with Command C paste to get the same thing. And there you have it. Make sure that you save it with your name and whatever project you're working on. So if you're working on the mannequin artist statement, write mannequin. If you're working on a value pumpkin artist statement, write value pumpkin. If you're working on a radial symmetry design, put radial symmetry design. You understand? And once that's changed, it's automatically saved. And so you can submit your artist statement or drawing in Google Classroom by clicking on the assignment and then add attachment and find your picture. Thanks for watching.